So I took us off trail here for just a minute and this is all right next to the bike path. And uh, it's just a shame. Look at those, those trees. I would have thought Lynchburg would want to preserve this as a natural area being so close to you know the park system here. I mean, there's, there's the bike path right down there. So, you know, you're cutting all this, I assume they're gonna put houses right here. I mean, that's the whole attraction to being on these, these trails is because you, you know, you wanna be, you kind of feel like you're back in nature. Um, but this is just a travesty so close to the trail. I, I understand we gotta develop and build houses and do whatnot, but I mean, why, why develop this area? I don't really get it. So I'm gonna hike on up here a ways and see if I can see where the, the devastation, how far back it goes. Let's, let's just keep, well, keep easy working. getting back here. I got all the way back up to the top. Looks like they're tearing all that out over there too. Here's some of the equipment. Now I hope those logs are gonna be put to, to good use. And I saw a guy over here, it looks like a, a little neighborhood or something. Try to ask him what they're, well, I guess they're gonna turn this into a subdivision maybe. But wow, right next to the bike trail, what a shame. So it was such a nice natural area with all these big trees. You know, these trees are hundreds of years old, some of them. What a shame. So, you know, if you ever want to get exercise, that's what you do on a walkabout, you know? I just saw all this and I thought, well, I, I was going to show you Holland's Mill Dam and I had a plan for the day, but we, we're, we're off that track. So I'm going to go, let's see what this building here is. I don't have a clue. And then you can see the, the wood chippers right here. I'm getting through all that mess. Boy, my mom ain't gonna want me bringing these tennis shoes in the house when I get home. Look at the size of that tree that they took down. It's just a shame. God, look at the size of that thing. I bet that's 200 years old. Anyway, let's just, mankind, we're so devastating to the environment and everything. All right, let's go check out what this building is and see if I can get my bearings on where in the hell I'm at. Anyway, I still don't have a clue. Maybe that was a school? Who knows, but there's a guy over here. I'm gonna try to get to him ask him what, what this is all about and see if I can find out where we're at. I mean, so to tell you how dumb I am, <laughs> I did get hooked up with that guy. I didn't want to get him on tape or anything. He probably wouldn't want to be filmed, but uh, there's the sign. I, I walked right past it and didn't even see it. So this used to be the Odd Fellows Home of Virginia. And uh, he gave me the scoop. His mother was actually uh, stayed here till she died. This was, a, I guess it was, it was a state funded uh, old folks home. Uh, I don't want to say nursing home, but I guess it was assisted living. And uh, it was really beautiful. He said they used to put uh, put stuff out to get the deer. And then there was a field back in here, he said, where they, they with a gazebo. And uh, just, it was a beautiful place. Uh, of course, now, you know, well, all things change, you know, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. But uh, what a shame. And so that's, that's. They just tore that all out. I guess they're going to expand it back in over there too. Now I'm not going to hike back through all of that because I actually came up onto Elm, Elmwood, which is where my cousin's house is. And we banged on that door. He wasn't home. So all I can do is just hike back down Elmwood. Now the, <laughs> they got a lot of no trespassing signs all over the place. So they got cameras. They got cameras out here. Well, come get me. Come get me. I don't care. But I just thought we'd kind of walk around the, the old folks home here. I mean, isn't it weird how you you see stuff like this? You'd think that, you know, this this place has been closed about three years and there's still still old furniture in there and whatnot. It's, uh, you know, as, as time changes, you know, we just end up with nothing. And here's kind of the back of it. You can see they're, they're tearing all that out too. But uh, really, you see, if I hadn't gone off trail, we would have never seen any of this and I would have never known this was going on. I'm going to show you the entrance here in a bit after I'm done walking around this place. And uh, I just, uh, you know, curiosity killed the cat, I suppose. But sometimes it, uh, it makes for a really nice day on a sunny day like today. Look, there's an old box. I wonder, I guess that's a storage box just still sitting there. Who knows? <laughs> the little, little thing hanging down. I mean, it's been closed three years. Look over here. There's still some patio <laughs> Furniture <laughs> just just sitting out in the middle of nowhere with the place closed down for three years now. Uh, there's a, well, you see those air conditioning units still in the windows. 
I, you know, those, those, boy, you get a scrapper back in here, that's, that's good metal. Of course, with the virus going on, you know, scrapping's not paying what it used to. But, uh, you know, about this time last year, you could have got a lot of money for the scrapping them air conditioners. Uh, I, obviously, nobody's living in there. Yeah, here's another little piece of furniture. Anyway, let's just get the entrance and uh, we'll be done with this adventure. And then we'll get back on the bike trail, hopefully. It's getting kind of late. I, I got to get home and work on my tent. One last video for the tent and, uh, and then we're done with the tent. So got a series of tent videos on the Alaskan guide tent. This is all. Oh, this is cool. Day. Check it out. This is once upon a time, people were living in here. Oh, you can tell the old cinder block walls here. There's your, there's your air conditioning unit. Each, each one has its own air conditioning unit. And here's, here's another room. Boy, I tell you, if this was somebody's living arrangements, these were, these were tiny rooms. I, I don't think I'd want to be spending my final days in a little boxy room like that. Uh, there's another view. And it looks like it just goes right across the hall. And then here's another room. So it just kind of repeat the same theme. Wow, and they, I bet they had this. That's a lot of people in a small area. Anyway, I, that's a, just I had to show you the interior. Here's kind of a little screened in area. You know, I wonder how many ghosts are walking around here or how many people sat in this little area where they could come up. Boy, look at that old, well, that's a cable. It looks like they had TV and cable box there. There's, just, there's an old chair <laughs> just kind of sitting in that little screened in area. But I bet back in the day, it was really beautiful. You could sit out here and uh, enjoy a breeze and breathe the fresh air, you know, like, anyway, let's, uh, so here's another room. <laughs> There's a chair just sitting right there. You know, this is apartment one. I, I kind of weird how they haven't cleaned all this stuff out of the building. This has been abandoned. For, here's an old walker. That's actually in decent shape. Somebody could use these walkers. But okay, that was about a going. blast from the past. Look at that right there. And then with the stairs kind of going up to the ceiling, that's a pretty intense uh, carrier. Probably air conditioning unit. So I wouldn't imagine you, I guess they'll end up scrapping that. Let's go over and see what's behind these doors. I'm real, sorry man, my curiosity's just gotten the best of me here. We should be able to get a good view once we get in the shade. Let's see what's in here. It's just a, well, it looks kind of like a, well, there, look, see, there's an entertainment center. The door's still in, still in there. Hard to, well, I, I know you might be getting a reflection. Can't really see what I'm seeing. Maybe through the door here. Uh, all I'm seeing is a reflection. Or here the camera's backwards. So here you got a, a little shed. Huh. So got some shelves and stuff in there. This is their generator and diesel fuel with the little loading area. It backs up right there. Let's check out what's in here. Wow, look at that. There's an old chair. Man, interesting. And then, of course, it looks like another storage building right there. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh, this is the entrance. Still looks good. Security camera in use. I guess they got my mug on there somewhere. It's a private property. Good thing we uh, went back in there. I got the cones here. Now we're gonna go off to the left here. I noticed they're cutting in something down here. Let's go check so, that out. Yes, folks. The mail carriers still go door to door. Surprising. No mailboxes. Interesting. Anyway, I just uh, came from my cousin's house, but I wanted to show you a little architecture. You know, Lynchburg, is a, it's an old city, but man, I tell you, I, that'd be rough to retire in something like that. And that's kind of what my cousin just bought. Uh, got a lot up and down there, but uh, a lot of houses look like that, you know, here in, here in Lynchburg. And uh, I just came uh, coming down and getting some exercise on this hill. Never been down this street before, so I thought I'd explore it. So I hiked down to the end of the street because I figured there'd be a way to get back to the bike path. Most uh, streets have them, but I didn't see a way back. But I, whenever I see something really weird, <laughs> I got to get it on film. Now, what is this all about? I mean. That says no parking Wednesdays, 7 a.m. 
to noon. Now, I want you to look, I'm just down here at the end of a dead end and with the little turnaround right here. Why would that be important on Wednesdays? And they got another sign over here, no parking Wednesdays, 7 a.m. to noon. So I just, <laughs> yeah, you just see this stuff and you just wonder, what is that all about? And I wish I could ask somebody. Anyway, just continue yeah, on. And check that guy out. I bet he's in his 70s and he's pedaling right up that hill. I don't think I could pedal up that hill. Got to admire that. I guess he's on his way down to the bike path. But I just had to show you that. Here, check it out. This is Lynchburg, man. There's deer everywhere here. There's one running down there. Just sitting right there in the yard. That's pretty cool. There you go. Hunters, man. <laughs> Where's your guns? Where's your guns? There's one for you. I got to look up what Wu-Tang is when I get home. Kind of a weird sign. Here's another thing I'm seeing all over Lynchburg. There's these stupid little things. I mean, I, I think we're taking this whole safety, uh, child safety thing way too far. I mean, when was the last time you heard of a kid getting run over by a car? I, I haven't seen anything in the news about it, but anyway, they're all over Lynchburg.